Welcome to the Latrobe Valley, Gunai Kurnai land and home to Australia's largest brown coal mines, Hazelwood, Yulon and Loyang. As we decrease our use of coal and transition to renewable energy, you may wonder what will happen to these coal mines? The Mine Land Rehabilitation Authority exists to facilitate good mine land rehabilitation outcomes. In the first series, we introduce the basic concepts about mine rehabilitation. In this series, we look at some different topics and we'll get to the bottom of the most important questions, like what job opportunities will mine rehabilitation create? A lot of community members voiced concerns about the closure of coal-fired power stations and associated mines and wonder how it will impact job opportunities within the Latrobe Valley. This video will cover what opportunities could become available through the rehabilitation process and during the transition to a new economy. There will be some demand for workers as part of the rehabilitation program, and it can be surprising to know that many of the skills used in mining can be adapted to mine rehabilitation. For those with experience in mining, their expertise is valuable and with some additional training they could transition to rehabilitation works being carried out at mine sites both in Australia and around the world. There are a broad range of jobs that could apply to mine rehabilitation. These include environmental scientists, security, communications, finance management, project and contract management, IT, HR, legal and demolition to name a few. In recent times, there has been interest in using historic mine sites for renewable energy projects, which will also require a construction and operational workforce. But here's the thing, mine rehabilitation requires some unique skills. That's why the region's transition plan includes multiple partnerships across industry and tertiary providers for training pathways, where people can learn the specific techniques needed to rehabilitate mining sites. Some of the available jobs could include ecologists, hydrologists, land planners, scientific technicians, civil engineers, dozer and tractor drivers and farmers. Mine rehabilitation projects can last over a decade. Some of these roles can be expected to exist for many years beyond the current date, while others will be shorter but still highly rewarding career avenues to pursue. The infrastructure to support this work will also need to change in line with changing political, social, environmental and technological context. The opportunities in mine rehabilitation go beyond employment. As we move away from coal mining, the rehabilitation sector can provide economic benefit, contribute to community development and have a positive impact on social well-being. And here's an exciting thought. Mine rehabilitation is not just an opportunity locally, but globally too. Countries worldwide are rehabilitating mines. So, just as jobs brought people to places like the Latrobe Valley, job opportunities in mine rehabilitation can provide gainful employment not only here, but also in other parts of the world. To sum it up, mine rehabilitation offers meaningful job opportunities that build on existing skills, while also offering opportunities to upskill through additional training. The finished landforms can also bring extra economic and social benefits. As we continue with this series, we'll delve deeper into these opportunities, showcasing the various roles and the positive impact mine rehabilitation can have on individuals, communities and the environment. This video is presented to you by the Mine Land Rehabilitation Authority. We believe an informed community is an empowered community, and that's why we've brought you this video series. If you'd like us to come and speak with your school or community group, or if you'd like to chat with us, visit mineland.vic.gov.au to join the conversation. The Mineland Rehabilitation Authority acknowledges Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people as the traditional owners of the land and acknowledges and pays respect to Elders past, present and emerging. The Mineland Rehabilitation Authority is an independent body who works with community, industry and government to oversee the rehabilitation of declared mine land to ensure safe, stable and sustainable post-mining landform transition in Victoria. 